Dan Dex is coming in here. She says she modeled. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right now, we are about to cook some ackee and saltfish. Okay, wait a minute, I can't do it. <laughs> wait, I can't, the onion is too strong. I can't. Cooking. Cooking is love. And the heart. So, when you love what you're doing, then you, list, you make less mistake. When you don't love it, then you make a lot of mistake. So, cooking is like a heart, so you know what this is vibes. You know, you love what you do and then you begin to passion and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> Guess who I'm in the kitchen with right now? Reggae, dance hall artist, Dan Dex. We are complete and jump to the road. We are complete and jump to the road. We are complete and jump to the road. The reason why we're in the kitchen together is I love Aki and saltfish. I mean love, love. And then I found out that he loved Aki and saltfish too. So this interview had to go to the next level and I asked if he could please make me some Aki and saltfish. Are you ready for this Dandex? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm the thing. Like, uh, a real thing. I can't sell fish on my field with them. That's what I mean. Because when you look at you, you grow up. That's the only thing we can get. The national, let me say that Jamaica national dish. That's what I mean. Because that's the only thing we have to look at them on the tree. Like every, every quarter mile ago, we have a hockey tree. Just see so much ackee tree in Jamaica. Wow. So we just pick the ackee and just pluck them out and you swallow them in and cook them and we only could get a piece of fish. For the time, salt fish used to be cheap, but now it's getting expensive because it's bye bye. It. But you know, that's how we national fish ackee and salt fish and I love to cook it. You swallow them in? Yes. Yeah, this is planting. We have planting right here. We have sweet potato and we have yellow yam. This is Jamaican stuff. You yes, see what I mean? You have Irish potato right here. This is scallion. You know, we have to use to deal with the ackee and saltfish. This is sweet pepper. You yes, see what I mean? And this, you know, say onion. You know, we cut up the onion and thing and make it thing spicy up and thing. This is sweet pepper also. But over here, this is where you have the ackee. When we get them off a tree. You yes, see what I mean? In Jamaica, we pick all these things off the tree and then we boil it. And then now from there, this is the saltfish right here too. It's right here. Saltfish now we put it in the water to make it take off a little, reduce the salt. That's what I mean. And then we're gonna boil it. And then the salt is gonna boil out a little bit more. Then we're gonna put it in cold water again. Just to make sure there's less salt. That's what I mean. This is the flour. The flour is where we're gonna need some dumpling. That's what I mean, some dough and stuff. And Make the thing nice, you know, it's gonna mix up everything, I'm gonna mix up and then we're gonna get our enjoyment food. That's what I mean. Nice meal. Then Des, tell me how you start cooking. How did you even start in the kitchen? I could you with one thing. As I look at you with one thing with the Jamaican, we go with my mother and we see my mother cook food and at age six, seven, and we need to prepare something and, 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 and see it finish. Then you'll, you'll be happy. You see what I mean? If you don't say you've accomplished something, you're interested, you know? So right now, you need up some dumpling and thing and you know, you need up the dough together, preparing it for when the water starts to boil, then you can put it in. Because some, some people love to put it in cold water, but it's best to put it in the hot water, you know? And the water is hot. What was it like growing up in Jamaica? Well, growing up in Jamaica was rough as a little youth, you know, because you have to force to start hustle from we are five year old, six year old, that's what I mean. My mom couldn't contain me staying in the house. That's what I mean. As she turned her back, I'm gone. And we used to go on the road and we used to like find like aluminum, zinc and copper and put it together and go down to like two miles we have to walk. 
to go down to Spanish Town Road. I'm living at 33, 33 St. Joseph Road. So I would wait on the scale and just pay me what we're supposed to get and then we'd go and try to find, buy some little cake or buy something, you know. Okay, so we'll put it together now, you see? Yeah. Needing the dough? Need it. I mean, I know what it is because we grew up with it in Detroit as well, but maybe the viewers don't know what you're doing. Yes, yeah, it's, called, it's called dumpling. It's yellow. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we call it yellow yam. You know, we love yellow yam in Jamaica because it's very, very affordable and it comes from the ground. I mean, used to love, see, my grandfather used to take me in the hills and stuff to big yam. Yeah, a lot of people do a lot of farming and after they leave that, that crop, and they think nothing else is growing there then when they burn the land certain things that used to plant there still comes you understand so so i don't know you need to follow my grandfather go big big yam and then something up in the hills and stuff and it was fun because i look at you would still you know you just have the experience you get you know a whole yam plant and how it grow like like the um, whisk and stuff that grow from it so those things like dry up, when they see dry up, then they know that okay, then once it's dry all the way, then the yam underneath the ground is fit and it's ready. You said your, when did your mom pass away? Um, my mom passed away when I was nine years old, you know, nine, nine years old. It was rough, you know, because the way she passed away, it's not normal because she just get up in the morning and just ask my sister to get her a pan of water and she just bathe in the house what she never usually do and when she finish bathe then she tell my sister to go and throw away the water and come back and bring her another pan of water so she bathe twice and then she just say that no one should come in the house and then now she just be there for by herself and then my sister go there to check on her half hour or over time and she's died she's lying on her back with her eyes open and she's way dead that's what i mean and that must have been devastating for it was just crazy man trust me at, i mean at nine years old you have a brother and sister yeah and you know i'm, I'm my sister one of my sisters the oldest and and then me and at nine years old and we have to go to the country and live with our grandma, you know? That's what I mean. So it was more even rough because she has nine kids to raise and then you know me and my brother, brothers on top of that. So that's crazy. They just it's just crazy, a lot of crazy stuff going on. We just have to battle like, you know, we are in war and stuff because every little things we have to learn to wash plate that's why you see i'm doing everything and really trying to be super clean because everything i used to do my grandma used to have to wash after wash up the plate we have to turn around go to the shop i have to turn around go go carry water to support the house and this is just crazy i'm just doing everything you see what i mean so i was getting upset as a kid crying and like oh it's me one doing everything but when i become a man now I realized that everything was just learning and I was forced to learn and didn't know to that be able it was to kind of take care of yourself yes you can take care of all these things by myself you know without depending and you know what I mean if it have to me you have to do it I do it I know what to do it you know so that's a blessing and then and then no a tragic um, thing happened no my grandma died when I was 14 so I still don't spend no time growing I have to grow myself from 14 years old until now that's what I mean, so... Good music comes out of Jamaica. Yes, because, you know, Jamaica music is all about... If it's dancehall, then you know it's all about party and enjoyment. And then if it's reggae, it's all about snow, you have to face the problem. That's what I mean, you can't go away and dance and things, everything is good after you finish dance or you're drunk. I will smoke something to get away a problem, it's not gone. So reggae is telling you that it's best to face a problem. And then after you face a problem, then you can go enjoy yourself. When I'm in Jamaica, we go in a yard where a lot of people are and stuff. And so 
every Sunday you hear music play and I always hear Bob Marley music, three little birds, don't worry about a thing, everything is going to be alright. So those music make me feel like, oh damn, there's something that, there's hope. Reggae music is all about teachment, upliftment, you see what I mean? Tell you to get up and stand up and fight for your right. You see what I mean? So, listening Bob Marley, Peter Touch, Dennis Brown and all the artists them that paved the way for us really make, really make it, make I am moving out the way. <laughs> So the water started boiling, so now you know after putting the dumpling, this is the first one I need. And then I have to set it again. And then I just do it like this. And I'll put it on like this and I'll, and I'll pop a little piece from it and then I wind it like this. And then I try to get it in to lock and stuff that it can be tight. But I make mine small because it's, you eat more when it's small, you know. Then it's big, when it's big, then you know what? You just want to just like just eat a little piece, but when it's small you might eat ten of them. Thank you for telling me so I won't eat as many. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. When it's small no you can eat a lot. Oh my gosh. But when it's big no it's it's like turn off. It's a turn off. So I try to make mine small that it's more interesting to eat, you know. And then just wine and lock, wine and lock. It's so alright I know and the yam and the dumpling they mix together right now and then now after we're gonna put the sweet potato and the Irish potato and stuff so we're gonna close it and let it go on and, go on and boil and boil while this one is the saltfish come on this is saltfish we have to boil the saltfish too boil off some of the salt and stuff so when it boil then you can put it in cold water too you know, this is Aki, you don't know the Aki are the king already and thing. So we are going to prepare our seasoning for the Aki and saltfish right now. While the dumpling is boiling with the yam, then after a time we are going to put in this one. So, so right now we are just preparing for the Aki and saltfish while cutting up the seasoning. Spice. You're, you're very neat in, in the kitchen. I can tell, like my grandmother, the way I grew up. My grandmother made us meticulously clean and she was very organized. And the way you're cooking right now, I can tell that you kind of had similar background. Yes, grandma. Grandma teaching always the nicest teaching in the car. They always cleanliness is godliness. Right now we are putting the Irish potato in the pot now because I think it's time for it to sweep them. Your grandmother passed away when you were 14 years old, yeah. and how did she die? Well, you know what happened? It's just everything, we just, we just got through so much, so much drama and stuff in our in life growing up, so I face it, and I face a lot, but you know what? You see, once you have the Almighty in front, you don't have to worry yourself, that's what I mean? Because right now, my grandmother, she went to Kingston from Montego Bay. She went to Kingston and she visited her, 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 her son, all her son and daughter that, that is in Kingston. So time for her to go home. They take her to the bus stop, put her on a bus, a big bus. And that bus was going some out of her direction. But you know, she could take two bus and she catch home. But while she's sitting in the bus, she hear another bus, a smaller bus, come and say, Montego Bay, Montego Bay. So what she did, she come out of that bus and go into the smaller bus wishing she just know it's just one bus she have to take home and that would be okay. And that little bus never make it. All 14 persons in the bus died, meeting an accident with a trailer. And everybody died. So my grandma died the same day with my little brother and my uncle daughter, first daughter. They both died together. That's what I mean. And that bus mashed up. Everybody died in the bus. So it was rough to bury three person one time. We didn't know at the same day when it happened. We hear about the bus crash and 14 people died, but we didn't know that we oh, have three persons in it. Until three days, four days after, when they in Kingston started calling and asked if 
my grandma reached home and we was like, no, she's not home yet. Next day, she's home. We said, no, she's not home yet. Then we realized that she's in the bus. Then we have to go to the parlor and to identify and it was just crazy. A family, you know, almost half of your family has passed away and you have to, you spent four years with your grandmother yeah. teaching you to cook and what did you do after that? Well, you know, after that, I get to work at a bakery, start to make buns and bullers and stuff, I would become a baker, you know, start to make breads, bun, buller all different type of pastry, you know, cupcakes and stuff and and work there for a while then I have to move on. That's what I mean and I meet a brother in the um, David in Barrytown and he just tell me to come and work with him and then you know from there I work with him for like seven, eight years and then you know, from there I learn I see guys on stage singing and I was like, wow, that's my first time experience artists on stage singing. And I was like, wow, this is what I really want to do. And then, you know, from there, I start to listen to what they sing and start to practice their songs. Yeah, the, um, the salt fish is already boiled right now. So what you do is you're taking up the salt fish from out the water, the boiling water. And you're trying to put it in some cold water. Make it go on and get salt can be reduced. So, Tell me more. Yeah, we go to the pond, catch fish, especially if rain is falling, then it's the best time to catch the fish because the fish then is more hungry, and ready to for the bait. So as we throw the line, it will be like, choo, 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 choo. and we just see a fish coming in, and then when we finish, you now we don't have money to buy food and stuff. Now we just use rocks to and we climb trees and pick the breadfruit from the tree. There's a fruit they call breadfruit to pick it. And when you pick it now with us you can boil it and you can roast it you know and then while you just boil it with some fish and cook some soup. And that's we we just want to know we're eating and we're surviving. Nice chef cook. Yeah. Any <laughs> woman would be very happy to to be with you because I mean this presentation is is on a high level. Just <laughs> yes, I tried to do this. I never knew some of this was good enough. Where, where was your dad growing up? Well, my dad, my dad was in was here in the United States. He was here while my crown, my mom lived in Jamaica. He used to come and visit back and forth like every six months, every three months or so. But when my mom died and then you have to go to the country, he come the come same way back and forth, you know, give what he can, but it was it was rough for him to hear. Could he just he did what he could, you know, so right now Did he send money home? Yeah, you know? send send what he can, you know, because he have to work hard, you know, it's like he's doing anything like a nine to five job, not much you have to pay your bills here and then whatever you can send home is like the fish. the fish right so that it circulate in aki. Right now we're gonna put seasoning. See what I mean? We're gonna put stir it. Something is fried. And I'll be a child and I'll be just have to eat and till my belly. Bull. That's what I mean. Plant. Love planting, you know, because you see right now, when I go to a restaurant, Jamaican restaurant, I have to ask them if they are planted. If they don't have any planting, then I most likely I don't want to eat here. Because my man just love my planting. So look, go. <laughs> Wonderful! Wonderful! You see me? So, I'm cooking for me and I'm cooking for you. 
I might fall in love after this documentary. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> I thought I'd prepare him some of my famous collard greens. And that's what we share like is our gra grandmother. Collard greens with spinach and hickory smoke. Yes, hickory smoke, some, some coconut oil. It's a healthy way of making greens. I grew up with a southern grandmother. My grandmother was just always, she was a good woman. I was just working and I always had to cook for my sisters and when I had kids, when I had three children, I used to have to work a lot of hours so I would cook like once a week 12 meals in one day and prepare everything in the kitchen so I just learned to be a fast cook and get stuff done and have everything so when the kids got home they always had a good meal when they got home they never had to wait until you know being a being a stylist an entrepreneur I didn't so know the same thing with my mom you know when I used to come from school I used to see you know I really make up my wow Yes, I always had to make food because like in Detroit we have bad winter storms so you don't know if you're gonna be home on time you don't know what's going on you know I didn't know my schedule I wasn't I didn't know how to manage my time with my schedule so I'm just gonna put a little bit more garlic because actually I love garlic <laughs> and I just stirred the greens up Get all those flavors in there. Yeah, man, so this is how it look. Aki and saltfish, dumpling right here, and you got that yam. And you have the sweet potato, Irish potato, you have avocado, you have plantain, and you have greens. So it's just a dish where, you know, we love cooking. Cooking our style, you know what I mean? And singing. So you have this next dish over here, you can see the same thing, you know, but it's not just a little spice, you know, you know, and the avocado, you get a little bit of all-purpose seasoning. You know. Yeah, man, so this is a nice dish and thing, you know, and, and you finally get what you, you say you want, you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> and it's cooking some maki and saltfish here, and you're cooking the green, so we're going to taste what mm. everything is all like. Yes, Delicious, blessings, sir. blessings. Yeah. Yes, Almighty Father, bless the food and you know, make it just eat it and enjoy it and just up your feet and thing, you know. Thank you for everything in your, in your precious name. So I say I bless you with the Rasta Father. Rasta Mmm. 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 Yum yum. Mm hmm So good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First time tasting of greens. It's wow. wonderful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Mm, delicious. Mm. This is so good. Mm. 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 Amazing grace. So right now, take a little piece of the yam. Mm -hmm. and dip it in the aki. Okay. Um, mm. So you have to taste. Mmm, 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 as it's a mixture and you want it to be nice and you get a little bit of hockey. Okay. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? And then you just chop it down, bring like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you take a bit. You have to call it same down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you put your plant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, not last. Mm -hmm. Irish but not last. Okay. Sweet Irish potato. Mm -hmm. Mm. So we did the These are the best plantains I've ever tasted. Mm -hmm. These are a good plantain. I don't know how you make them. I never make my plantains this good. I don't know if it's the way you cut it, the way you cooked it. I don't know what you did. 
And then orange some. Yes. The colored greens. Mmm. There's a mixture right there. Mmm. Mmm. Open mm -hmm. so you always pay attention to it and then they put all the emotion in it and everything. So this is what comes. Mm. How much is it going to cost to be a chef? <laughs> yes. 